So guys, in this project, we are going to make a quiz application using the Laravel and we'll be also using the Vue.js in the front end. So let's have a look at the demo of this project. So here I'm an admin, so I can log in with my credentials. So if I click the login, then I could go to dashboard and I can quickly view here. Uh, there are four quizzes and five users and all two that have 18 questions. And these are the all the size menu that can be accessed by admin. So for example, let's go here, let's go here in the create quiz. So here I can create the quiz. When I create the quiz, all the quiz will be available here. So you can see here, I have the four quizzes available here. And we have the description of the quiz, we have the time of the quiz, and we can obviously delay it and edit the quiz. So here, if I go here, view questions, then I can see all the questions belongs to this PSP quiz. And here are the four options for ease of the questions. And you can see we have also highlighted the correct answer. Okay, so let's go back here and then we have another section where we can create the questions for each of the quiz. So here I can create questions and I can choose one of the quiz sets in which I want that question to be. So if I choose a larval quiz, then I'll definitely write here larval questions and I'll have the four options and I'll give one, I'll choose one as a correction and I'll submit this. And then once this is submitted, this will be available in the view quiz. And you can see here, we have all the questions here. And we have the questions we have in which quiz this question belongs to and the date when this was created. And I can see this view and you can see, uh, for example, this is the questions and we have the four options and the correct is this one. And here I can easily read it. And if I hit it, let's say this is the correct and the, my correct answer is now this one. And I can click and go back. So here I can create the quiz. Here I can create the questions. I can do all the cut operation of the questions. And then here now I can create the users. Once I create the users, I can keep my I can give their credentials like login username and password to those user, and those user can uh, go uh, log into the website and then they can play the quiz or they can attempt the exam that is assigned by the uh, admin of the system. So you can see here uh, we have the six user and uh, they have the name and password. Everything is here and a little bit of description as well. So obviously we can edit and delete, delete the users and in the assign exam, we can assign the exam to the user. So let, let's see, I have like five users here, total six users and I have a full set of quiz, right? So let, let's assume that I have uh, some of the people are doing intern in my company. Uh, let's say uh, uh, David Joe is doing the PSP intern. So he's at the end of his intern. So I need to assign him like PSP quiz, then I can easily assign here in PSP quiz, and he'll be log and he'll be provided with the uh, email ID and password by admin, and he can add him all the quizzes. And uh, later, the admin will know his uh, how how he learned, what he learned, and what is his like capability, and whether he need to be uh, given chance to work in the company or not, other or whether he passed the exam or not, and things like that. Okay, so similarly, like I can assign uh, as much as questions to everyone here. And you can see here, uh, so I can assign to Richard, suppose, let's say Richard has uh, recently finished his J JavaScript, now I can assign him the JavaScript quiz. And so you can view all the exam here, right? So here is the user exam. So admin has assigned all the user exam and this user has been assigned exam. And here now admin can sometime can assign mistake the exam to some of them. So anytime he can come here and he can remove that exam as well so he can remove only exam if this particular user has not attempted that exam for example if i try to remove the louis then it says the quiz is spread by the user so it cannot be removed because we have already attempted this quiz right so if i try to remove the david then it can be removed so because david has not involved in that quiz so i can easily remove this and that will not be shown in the debit uh, dashboard so if i remove richard i can re easily remove richard as well so because richard has not played the quiz ad so i can remove but however i can remove this because this is already pretty by the louis now i can view the questions all belongs to this particular quiz so psp quiz these are the quiz uh, questions and with the correct answer here and this exam i have assigned to this particular user that is louis 
And now once the user or all this uh, student plays the quiz, I can easily view by clicking the view result. For example, Louis has already attempted the quiz and his quiz questions is here. I can see that and I can see his result as well. So I can see his result. So you can see here he has attempted seven questions and total question was seven, attempt was seven, correct was six and the wrong answer was one, right? And over the percentage he got here and here you can see the uh, the question and here was uh, his response and here we find correct or not okay now let's go in the front end and let's uh, play the quiz so I'll view I'll pick one of the user let's say Louis I'll pick the Louis and his password is one two three and this is given by the admin to the Louis so I'll log in as a Louis here and uh, my password is I'll type the password and once I log in, I can see my little bit information here. So I am the occupation as a programmer. I am doing an intern in this particular company, and this exam was assigned to me by the my lead developer or senior developer. And I have already completed this quiz. Now, admin can obviously view my result as well as I can also view my result here. Okay, so I can view result and I can get what is the correct and what is the uh, wrong answer. So. Let's assume that Louis has not played this quiz. So what I need to do is I go here in the results and I click delete all and this quiz is already assigned to Louis. Now I should see the start button. So I haven't attempted any exam. So now I should the start button. And if I click the start button, then you can see the exam is uh, shown to me. So there is one question per page and you can see here the timeline countdown and the 10 minute was assigned to this exam and is decreasing every second and we have also disabled the right click button so you can't click the right button and here is the question so i'll choose a random question in this way and you can obviously go back so you can go back and again you can update your question so if you go here your question has been already in set up here but again you choose that was you think that was wrong and then you can again go here and update your answer and this will be also updated in our database and obviously I can go and next again I can do the previous and I can update my answer anytime so let me choose randomly let's play the quiz so I'll choose this I'll choose this one and I'll choose this one I'll choose this one and you can see I got five out of seven okay and I have still time so if I am running out of time then the application will redirect users to the home page and get the information that you are out of time and your quiz questions and answer has been recorded and that will be available for user to view now if I go to my home page then I should see this one okay so it's a really really nice application and in front in here we use the Vue.js to show one question per page and to play the quiz and we have also written a nice code here so we have written a very clean code i try to write a very clean code so you'll learn a lot of things uh, and i hope uh, you'll gain a lot of knowledge by building this quiz application so i really hope to see you in this course